The Pentagon putting 8,500 U.S. troops on high alert tonight as tensions between Ukraine and Russia grow. U.S. forces could deploy to Europe as part of a NATO response force. More than 80 tons of U.S. military equipment, including ammunition, is in Ukraine right now. The secretary wants us postured to be ready uh, for any other contingencies as well, but the bulk of them are aligned for the NATO response force. We've never uh, ruled out the option of providing assistance, additional assistance in advance of an invasion. President Biden also spoke with European leaders about the escalating tensions there. Biden says they're hoping for a diplomatic solution. Russia denies it's planning an invasion, but there are more than 100,000 Russian troops gathered along the Ukrainian border tonight. Ukrainians here in Minnesota are keeping a close eye on the situation in, West, in Eastern Europe. Yeah, many still have family back in Ukraine. Fox 9's Maury Glover joins us now live in the studio. Maury, these Minnesotans are very worried about their loved ones. Well, that's right. There are an estimated 17,000 Ukrainian Americans living here in Minnesota, and many are watching the developments happening half a world away with keen interest. Irene Selenko and her son moved to the United States from Ukraine 22 years ago. But now she's worried her native country could soon be going to war. Emotionally, I feel um, I'm feeling upset um, because it's my home country. I grew up there and I have relatives there and I, I want them to live a nice life. And I also worry for their safety. Selenko says unlike eight years ago when Russia annexed Crimea, and her relatives in Ukraine stockpiled food and packed clothes in case they had to leave in the middle of the night. This time around, her relatives seem to be taking Putin's buildup of Russian troops along the Ukrainian border in stride. They don't want Russia to come and invade. They definitely don't want to surrender to that. They numb, they fatigue. They really don't know what else that they can do. And... Um, they kind of think that they're going to defend their life if something comes, but they don't know already what to expect. Selenko is glad the U.S. and NATO are promising military support to Ukraine if Russia does decide to invade. But she isn't eager to see American troops caught in the middle of a Cold War that seems to be heating up once more. This is a life too. This is the life of American soldiers. You know, as an American citizen, I worry about that as well. This is a really delicate balance there for me. Now, Selenko's son says some in their community believe Russia is just flexing its military muscle, while others fear a full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine isn't far off. Back to you. Mm. All right, Maury, thank you.